All right, KTC, here we go. Another weekly update. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning. <laughs> Looks like this rain might take care of the snow and, you know, maybe fingers crossed we'll have an early spring. That's at least what I'm hoping for. But I have a bunch of things to go over today. I have a few quick announcements and then I would like to use this as a little bit of a tutorial to get you set up on Training Peaks and on Zwift. That's gonna be really important for you to get riding with us tonight successfully. <laughs> So if you're doing a ride tonight, make sure you listen to the tutorial. Make sure you have it all set up if you're not sure of all the steps. I'm going to try to walk you through the best that I can. Uh, but a couple quick updates here as I just load Zwift and I talk. Uh, swimming this Saturday. We will be swimming this Saturday. The swim meet has been canceled, so we do have pool space. If you're a Saturday swimmer, please come on out. We are going to be upping our distance to some 200. So true VO2 max intervals now. Durations from somewhere between three and four minutes. So a little more middle distance working on that high performance. And uh, as always, just taking it to the next level. Expect Saturdays always to be a little bit tougher. So come prepared. Not only long course, an hour and a half, but uh, um, yeah, we always have some good intensity in there. Let's go, Zwift. Um, and there it goes, takes my whole screen up. What else? H2O access cards. I am working on that. We've circled back now that the vaccine uh, passports are mandatory. It's been quite sporadic from what I have heard, whether you're being asked for vaccine, uh, proof of vaccines or not. It would be nice to skip that step all the time. So... I've been talking with the H2O Center. We're going to go back to that access card idea. So you'll have a tri-club access card that you can scan for facility entry anytime that you are attending a KTC session. This is only for when you're attending KTC sessions, so don't use it to come into the pool any other time. Uh, that would not be right. <laughs> so hopefully it just allows you quick and easy access, plus it gives some control measures for the operator as well. So you don't have to do anything. We'll be issuing cards in the very near future, I hope. I am going to be sending over all the details that they can build you accounts if you don't have a current H2O membership or never have. Uh, again, they'll be issuing that. We'll be attaching the vaccine passport, which you'll probably have to show one more time as proof uh, to your account. So you won't have to do that anymore. And then that will be how you come and go. Now, these will only be uh, useful when you are participating in KTC sessions. So if you, for some reason, don't swim a session or, um, well, whatever, uh, <laughs> that's the only purpose for these. Other than that, I think that's it for swimming. We're going to be swimming a little longer on Thursday. So very similar to last week's workout, a broken 200. So we're going to do some 300. So a little bit of speed change in there. And again, just lengthening it out a bit. So if you want to get all these workouts in your training peaks, and this would be uh, really important if you're riding on Wednesdays, because this will really streamline the process. Uh, you can do that by going over to the website. Uh, I'm in the, let me go back to the home page so you know how to navigate there. Um, so you're going to go to the members locker room. You may need to log in if you're not already logged in. So do that first and then go to the members locker room. Under guides and tools, go to setup tutorials. And that is going to walk you through... Uh, step by step how to get your training peaks all set up. So that's step number two. If you have training peaks set up already, you're connected to the KTC account, all you have to do to get the workouts is click this link and it'll take you to the uh, area where you can uh, download uh, the training plan. Once you have that in training peaks, you will want to make sure that you are connected on Zwift. So if you go to Zwift, I guess some Canadian Zwift.ca. Uh, I should have logged in beforehand. We're going to fast forward this. It's nice when your passwords are memorized. So once you do that, go to the drop down here, the hamburger menu over on the top right. Click on your name. That's going to bring you to your profile. And then it's this connections link you're going to want to uh, click on. So if you have Training Peaks and it's in color, you're connected. If not, click on it. It's going to take you to a dialog box where it just asks you for your Training Peaks uh, username and password. Put that in and uh, you should be good to go. So anytime that you go into Zwift and you get to the main screen here, you go to Training 
and you will see this training peaks custom workouts and if you have a workout on that day you will see it appear if you don't have a workout uh, on the day you won't see it so if you're trying to see future workouts it won't show up in here you'll have to check it out on training peaks so other than that uh, in terms of getting on to the ride now I'm jumping around a little bit here from training peaks to Zwift there are two workarounds to get this workout that I've programmed into Zwift so that you can do it together the first way is just exactly as I showed you have your training peaks all set up connect the accounts and uh, you're good to go the other way to set it up and I just need to go into my <laughs> big training peak you see I have a lot going on right now uh, I need to get on my own training here so you can I will be sending out this Zwift file this ZWO file so this is the workout all you need to do is get this file into your Zwift workout folder which if you open up your folder, uh, file folder, usually Zwift's under documents. If it's not there, you can search it, search documents and just type in Zwift and it should find it. Uh, so here's my Zwift folder. I'm gonna click on the workouts folder and I wanna get this workout. Oh, and there goes the folder. I wanna get this workout into my, this is my Zwift number, uh, 162700. So I'm just gonna drop it into there and I uh, see I've done this uh, twice already <laughs> and once it's in there it will show up in your custom workouts in Zwift so not training peaks but custom workouts and you'll be able to load the workout as well now just joining the ride pay attention to these steps very carefully when you want to join the ride you're just gonna open up Zwift you've accepted my my meetup request <laughs> so make sure you follow all those steps uh you have to follow me on zwift look me up in the companion app accept my meetup request i sent all those details out you can check the emails out uh, uh last week i believe uh so you're just going to start riding you don't have to do anything other than go ride so it doesn't matter what world you're riding in once you do that and you start riding, you're going to see a little drop down menu here that says join meetup. So click on that button. It's going to take you to the meetup. You're going to be sitting on the side of the road on the trainer. Once you do that, then go to menu over here to workouts. And then this is where you're going to load the workout. Once you do that, so I'm you know, just going to go workout, go back and you should be sitting in the meetup on the trainer on the side of the road with a countdown over on this side for the start of the meetup the workout loaded here nothing has started and uh, then you are all set to go so make sure you go through all of those steps or again you won't be uh, successfully on riding with us now that all being said Zwift has finally uh, well I got an announcement today they are slowly rolling out Zwift clubs so we are going to be able to make a club which I will then be able to invite basically anyone in the club to these rides and hopefully it's a lot easier and more streamlined uh, they are phasing it in they're testing it with some clubs right now um, and just working out all the bugs so I hope to see in the next couple of weeks our ability to do that and then we can set up a Zwift KTC club and it's kind of like a Strava club, same type of deal, but um, again, should streamline some of this work. So stay tuned for that. As soon as we're able to, I'll be setting up a uh, KTC Zwift club. We do have a max of 100, so we're good for now. <laughs> we'll see how, how much the club grows uh, over the next uh, couple of years. We'll see. Uh, so I think that is it for my tutorials in terms of how to get training peaks set up, how to get the workouts into Zwift, either through training peaks or through the file um, or downloading the file and putting it into your Zwift folder. So if you do have any issues or questions, reach out to me sooner or then later today. I won't be able to help you. Uh, before the ride, I'll be uh, taking my daughter to skating and then coming in pretty hot. So again, earlier the better today. 
Uh, last little thing, try BC. As a reminder, uh, there are a number of you that still do not have your try BC memberships. I have looked everyone up in try BC to qualify you whether you have or not. You can't train with us if you're not a try BC member, so please <laughs> do not show up tomorrow morning. Without being an active member, I don't want to be in the situation where I have to tell you at 6 in the morning to turn around and go home. <laughs> or go swim over there on your own. Um, that would be absolutely terrible. So get on that Try BC ASAP. Last thing really quickly on the leaderboard here. Jason Stoke, uh, man, 1745. Huge miles. Congratulations. Amazing work taking the leaderboard last week. Vanessa got the uh, next Ironman coming up. Boy, got to get going here. 1327. Actually, that's a pretty, uh, pretty solid week. Uh, and I'm sure all quality work too. <laughs> and then Dustin, well done. 10 hours, 11 minutes. Um, total distance. Jason took that one. Rob had some huge riding, looks like, uh, last week. And same with Dustin. And then, oh, there it is. Uh, that's an Ironman workout right there. 544. Nicely done on that one, Vanessa. Rob, 235, and Jason, 201. So excellent job this week. Looks like Vanessa's out to a uh, strong week, uh, followed up by Jason and Rob. So well done, everybody. Uh, you're motivating me to get going again here. It's been a struggle, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> So you're not alone if you're also struggling trying to find that consistency and motivation. It's um, it's everybody. And if you happen to be just rolling right now, then embrace it. It's a new year. Keep it going. Keep the momentum going. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, to doing some racing this year. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, just because I've gone pretty long here with my tutorials. Until next week, take care. Happy training. Bye-bye.